The terrestrial ecosystems of the Bahamas is home to a rich diversity of wildlife. From our extraordinary coppice forests to our wondrous pinelands and wetlands. What's even more special is that many of our amazing species are found nowhere else in the world. From our tiniest insects to our largest iguanas, the terrestrial fauna gives people a unique glimpse into the animal world of our islands. So, come along with us and explore the terrestrial side of this absolutely amazing archipelago and learn more about our wild Bahamas. When you look at a forest, what is the first living thing that you see? Most likely it would be the plants. Plants are one of the most important groups of organisms in the world. They are essential for producing oxygen, food and other resources necessary for supporting life. For millennia, plants have evolved and developed mutualistic relationships with animals such as fruits to help them disperse their seeds. and flowers for pollination to aid in plant reproduction. They also develop relationships with fungi, which help them extract water and nutrients from the soil. Plants may look defenseless, but in the never-ending struggle against predators, pathogens, and competitors, plants have evolved novel ways to defend themselves. Some plants produce spines that make it hard for predators to consume them. Others have fine hair-like structures called trichomes that in some plant species cause intense itching if you touch it. Perhaps the most interesting form of plant defense is the chemicals plants produce. In this video, I will talk about some of the plants used medicinally in the Bahamas and some poisonous plants found here. The Bahamas is home to over 1,400 species of plants. One type is the sage plant in the genus Lantana. Locally, these plants are used to treat diseases like chickenpox and other skin issues. In one study published in the Journal of Natural Products in 2004, researchers found that chemical compounds isolated from white sage have antimicrobial and cancer-fighting properties. Shepherd's needle is a common weedy plant found throughout the Bahamas. Research on shepherd's needle has confirmed that this plant is a diuretic, which adds credit to its local use of treating conditions that cause the body to accumulate fluids, such as hypertension, diabetes, and swellings, as well as a treatment for jaundice. In a 2008 paper published in the journal Food and Chemical Toxicology, Researchers found that protein extracts from this plant may help fight colorectal cancer. Galowin is another plant found throughout the Bahamas and used as a bush medicine. This plant has been locally used to treat colic, arthritis, colds and fevers, and worms. A 2002 and 2011 study published in the Journal of Entopharmacology asserts that extracts from Galowin have been shown to inhibit DNA polymerase in hepatitis B viruses. It also has anti-tumor, anti-cancer, antibacterial, anti-diabetic, diuretic, and anti-malarial properties. Life leaf is another medicinal plant, although it is not native to the Bahamas. Leaf extracts have shown to be effective against jaundice and hypertension. Life leaf also has anti-diabetic properties as well as antioxidants and fights against leishmaniasis, a disease spread by sandflies. It also has anti-cancer, antifungal, 
and insecticidal properties. Other life leaf studies indicate that extracts from the plant help prevent preterm labor and have fewer side effects and are more effective than traditional labor inhibitors. Waltheria well, is another native plant found throughout the Bahamas. We even have our own endemic species called Waltheria well, bahamensis. In a study published in the Journal of Natural Products, extracts from the roots of Waltheria well, have been shown to be effective against human fungal pathogens. Five Finger is a native Bahamian tree. In a paper published in the Journal of Medicinal Plants, leaf extracts from Five Finger have been observed to have selective cytotoxic activities against tumors. One of the most commonly used medicinal plants in the Bahamas is Cirrusy or bitter melon. In a 2011 review article published in the Journal of Pharmaceutical Science and Research, researchers found that this plant has chemical properties that have been effective against various cancers including breast cancer, lymphoid leukemia, prostate cancer, and melanomas. It also has anti-diabetic and anti-HIV properties and has been used to treat stomach ulcers. Research has also shown that cerisine has hypoglycemic agents that aid the body in efficiently using glucose, which can aid in weight loss. However, pregnant women should not consume cerisine because it can stimulate the uterus and cause premature birth. Yellow alder is another native plant found throughout the Bahamas and is said to have medicinal properties and is used to treat gastrointestinal, circulatory, and respiratory issues, as well as treatment for menstrual cramps. In a 2009 paper published in BMC Complementary Medicine and Therapies, researchers found that extracts from yellow alder have properties that have been observed to fight menthicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, also known as MRSA. Gomelomy is a common and attractive tree native to the Bahamas. It has been used medicinally to treat circulatory problems and is said to be a treatment for poison with rashes. In a paper published in the Journal of Entopharmacology, leaf extracts from gomelomy were found to contain anti-inflammatory properties. So yes, this plant is a useful treatment for poison with rashes. Monkey tamarind, also known as cow itch, is a well-known plant that most Bahamians try to avoid. The fuzzy trichomes on the external surface of the seed pod contain a chemical called mucinane, which causes the extreme itch people who unfortunately encounter experience. In studies on Parkinson's disease using rats, powder from the cotyledon of monkey tamarind has shown to have anti-Parkinson's activity as well as neurorestorative benefits. In another study published in the journal Fertility and Sterility in 2009, scientists found that sterile men treated with sea powder had improved semen quality and saw a 576% improvement in sperm concentration after three months of treatment. Most Bahamians are familiar with aloe vera and its medicinal properties. The aloe vera plant has over 200 biologically active substances and is one of the most important plants that aid in promoting human health. Aloe contains phytosterols that help to reduce visceral or belly fat accumulation. Aloe also has properties that make it an effective form of treatment against diabetes and even HIV and AIDS. It is a multi-purpose medicinal used to treat wounds, fights against cancer, diabetes, and is an immune system booster. Caution, however, should be taken with consumption of this plant. In a 90-day study using lab animals treated with 100 mg per kilogram dose of leaf pulp solution, 
The treated animals had decreased body and organ weight, dysfunctional sperm, and 30% mortality. Aloe's chemical properties have also been associated with diarrhea, electrolyte imbalance, kidney dysfunction, as well as phytotoxicity and contact dermatitis. Manchineal is a native plant found on several islands in the Bahamas. Its scientific name, Hippomane mancinella, means horse poison, little apple. This plant has killed people and livestock who have eaten the fruit that looks like little green apples. Symptoms from eating the fruit include diarrhea, vomiting, salivation, coma, and death. Its milky latex sap is extremely toxic and causes severe blisters. Even standing under the tree during a rainstorm is not a good idea as the poisonous chemicals dissolve in water and if it washes on your skin it can cause further irritation. Dumb cane is a non-native plant commonly found in business establishments as an ornamental. This plant however is very toxic. In fact, dumb cane was used to punish slaves in Jamaica. The stalk would be cut and rubbed in their mouths. Chewing of this plant leads to severe inflammation and pain in the mouth, swelling of the tongue, and if not treated, death due to blockage of the airways caused by swelling. The castor oil plant is a common weedy plant seen throughout the Bahamas. This plant is native to India and has been shown to have many medicinal benefits. When a polyurethane was made from this plant and blended with calcium carbonate or calcium phosphate, it was shown to promote bone matrix mineralization. In other words, it promotes bone growth. The seeds contain ricin, a protein that fatally disrupts cell protein synthesis. It is so dangerous that one molecule can kill a cell. Although dangerous, it can be used therapeutically to treat cancer. The leaves have been shown to contain cytotoxic properties as well that can be useful in the treatment of cancer. The plant also contains anti-inflammatory compounds and oil made from the plant have been used medicinally as a laxative and also in cosmetics, paints, lubricants and other products. Ricin is one of the most toxic natural substances known. It has been used in the assassination of Bulgarian BBC journalist Georgi Markov as well as Robert Giorgio and Porton Down. Ingesting the toxin can lead to abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, various gastrointestinal bleeding and renal failure. Inhalation of the toxin presents with severe lung damage, alveolar inflammation and swelling. If the chemical is injected into the body, the poison can lead to hypotension and death. Jumbi beet is a non-native plant that is believed to have originated in East Asia. It is well known for its beautiful red and black seeds that are often used in jewelry making. The seeds, however, contain abrin, a protein far more toxic than ricin, and as little as 0.00015% of the toxin is enough to kill an adult. Like ricin, this protein inhibits protein synthesis of cells. Although this plant has poisonous compounds, it also has medicinal properties. Research published in 2008 indicate that this plant also has antimicrobial properties and is effective against infections caused by Staphylococcus aureus. The leaves are said to be edible and contain a chemical called ambrosite A to D, which is 30 to 100 times sweeter than sucrose. Poisonwood is a native plant found throughout the Bahamas. This species is in the same family as poison oak, poison ivy, poison sumac, and mangoes. This plant contains a chemical called urushiol, which causes extreme dermatitis if it gets in contact with your skin and every part of this plant is poisonous. 
it is best to avoid this plant at all cost. The Bahamas has plants and animals that produce unique chemicals that can provide a wealth of information and products that can be beneficial to human health and industry with proper study. More research is needed to better understand medicinal plants as well as the complex relationships plants have with other species and ecosystems like our Bahamian coppers and pine forests. Although many of our native plants can be found throughout the region, our plant population may be under different environmental influences which may affect their morphological and biochemical behavior and expression. Unfortunately, Biological and biotechnological research in the Bahamas is still a field that has yet to be adequately explored. Questions such as the proper dosage of bush medicine and how medicinal plants can affect a person taking other medicines has to be looked into. I hope that more Bahamians will invest in more research in our wildlife to support conservation, Bahamian health, and the economy. Maybe the next miracle cure is found in one of our 89 endemic species of plants. Until more research is done on Bahamian plants and other wildlife, let's continue to appreciate all that is ours.